Welcome to Everything Wrong with Society, featuring my two cents. That I like to I like to hear the sound of my own voice. I'm gonna do this in segments. The oversaturation of attention. So I have my Google Doc pulled up here. I'm gonna be referencing it throughout this video. So I have dedicated the last seven years to imagining my life as a movie star, a famous music artist, um, writer, public figure, you name it. And none of those dreams involved being an Instagram influencer or a TikTok influencer. And I spent years being desperate enough to try and copy the paths of these people that I saw were successful and broke into the industry through this route. The more I analyzed what I could possibly have been doing wrong to not garner that time, that kind of attention, the more I realized that none of the things that used to matter mattered anymore. Um, a video doesn't go viral because it showcases talent or hard work anymore. A series of algorithmic choices that will skyrocket seemingly mediocre displays of attention-seeking behavior uh, to the top with no value added to culture. Now, I came to the devastating conclusion that if I couldn't achieve success without selling myself to this never-ending market of attention in social media, that I didn't want it. When everyone can release music from their room, how can you possibly stand out? And dance trends go viral due to a million people repeating the same thing. How can you be original when original content doesn't get attention? It's through this distorted form of mass media and micro niche content that the very concept of being a star doesn't really exist anymore. Sure, artists get their 15 seconds of virality in the form of a sped up TikTok sound and actors can experience a surge of thirst edits and memes, but the idea of celebrity has changed drastically in the last few years. Taylor Swift is really the only person I can think of who genuinely holds the power of an old-fashioned celebrity. She is undoubtedly a household name who is allowed to live and create by her own rules because of the previous success that she has to warrant that. Margot Robbie rose to fame in a similar old-fashioned way. She proved herself to the industry through talent and hard work and was rewarded with appearances in big-budget movies and a highly successful career in which she now has her own production company and she decides what she gives her attention to. With the amount of streaming services and original series all fighting for relevancy, it is impossible to keep up with just how much stuff there is to consume. And it's very easy to feel overwhelmed by how deep the water is that you have to tread to just be seen. Again, this is coming from someone whose dream it is to be an entertainer. So how can someone like me, who doesn't have the luxury of previous success, be anything but a slave to social media? As a dancer, I've been told by countless industry professionals that your Instagram is like your resume and it's literally built into contracts for certain dance jobs that you must be active on social media. You must promote whatever job you're doing on social media. It, I f it feels like my choices are give up because my dream doesn't really exist anymore because that concept of like being a star is so distorted and, and mangled by now, or be a slave to social media. It seems like those are my choices. I have deleted all social media from my phone, and I only re-download to post something dance-related because, unfortunately, that is my resume, and I guess I'm not ready to give that up yet. I immediately delete it again. And I have personal anecdotal evidence for how much social media drains me, puts me in a bad mood, makes me feel absolutely worthless. 
And I highly doubt that I am alone in this observation. It's not like advertising and product endorsement is a new concept, but masking obvious marketing as a genuine recommendation from normal people takes advantage of those trapped in a doom scrolling loop. Social media has exponentially increased online consumerism, making millions of useless products cheap to buy and cheap to produce and shoving them in your face every other second. Like TikTok shop, Instagram marketplace, even Pinterest. You can scroll through Pinterest and there are just ads everywhere. From an environmentalist standpoint, the fast fashion industry, just what a killer, man. Social media has just allowed the fast fashion industry to flourish far beyond, I think, what anyone expected. I wanted to be a Brandy Melville girl so badly when I was in high school. But once we are faced with these truths, we have two choices. We can either continue on as we were, blindly sticking our heads in the sand, or we can change. And change is hard. But change is the only way that things are going to get better. When I weigh the pros and cons, I'd much prefer to spend my money on something I value and that I found myself because I thought I needed it rather than random purchase from a possible scam site on Instagram. I'd rather focus on pursuing my art than be constantly reminded that I'm just a drop in the ocean. For me, having constant and immediate access to funny cat videos that I send to my mom is just not worth it. What good things has social media brought to us? It wouldn't be very scientific of me to ignore contrary evidence, so let's get into it. Social media has brought about a broader awareness for social issues, justice for women, lives lost from police brutality, um, natural disasters, homophobic hate crimes, but let's think about what we recall actually being done about these things. A black box posted on Instagram with the caption, thoughts and prayers. I mean, last I checked, women were still in danger of walking down the street. African Americans are still targeted by law enforcement, and transgender youth are not safe in their own schools. Mental health is next. Social media has normalized the discussion of mental health issues while promoting misleading self-diagnoses. Having absolutely no energy. This is a sign of ADHD in women. No energy. Feeling like you're always at one end of a deregulated activity spectrum, meaning you're either on the couch all the time or you're doing activities all the time where you're switching back and forth rapidly. Feeling like you have good or better ideas than other people, but you don't know how to organize your thoughts, so you don't share them. And another one is feeling like you're always coping for something. That's what fatigue is also a symptom of depression, thyroid issues, lack of sleep, sleep apnea, grief, emotional stress, and basically everything that requires you to live. A laundry list of generic symptoms in a 15 second video convincing someone they have a mental illness is not what I would call helpful. If the only things we still have control over are our attention and our money, then let's use it wisely. Ideally for me, short form media platforms like Instagram and TikTok would just disappear entirely. They would lose their death grip on our poor apathetic society. But if it can't be forced to happen because we're just too far down that road, it is a conscious choice that you can make to devote your attention to meaningful things, things that you decide are meaningful, things that you find for yourself, not something that is shoved down your throat as this is important to you, you should care about this. My current state of existentialism I don't even know if I do have enough faith in where we are in this timeline for things to get better enough and fast enough for this world to even be worth saving. But I thought I'd impart whatever knowledge, whatever wisdom I have before I decide that it's not worth it anymore. <laughs> because there is beauty in going down swinging. So if I am just a drop in the ocean. I mean, I'd rather that ocean be clean 
and not full of single-use clothing and single-use plastic. I hope that something that I've said has resonated with you, has maybe asked you to consider your choices in your attention and your money, and realize that it's not your fault that the world is this way, and it's really easy to feel helpless in the state of things, but you can take some of that power back by making conscious choices, by moving away from social media because your attention is a currency, and using your physical currency, your money, more wisely. Yeah!